get this place out? Are we gonna finally get to enjoy our New Year's Eve? I mean, I thought last year we said we were gonna take a trip someplace warm. We did. And you parked our getaway car in a handicap spot and show you like to score the- It's him! He's going down! No, you... How's oh. my fish taste? I need help, please! Thermocharge a batarang. I can use it to knock out that frozen security lock. I'm damn cold. I'll survive. said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. How much Guys! Hey! My lucky day! the champagne boys I think it's gonna be a very very good year <laughs> sir your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill thanks Alfred I'm on it He's setting something up with a buyer. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think Freeze would have turned on him. I wouldn't doubt it. That guy ain't human. Looks at everything like it's his next meal. I know. And those eyes, goggles, whatever. Wow. Gives me... Well, chills. Are you two quivering idiots sure you're in the right room?
much longer. We gotta be. Come on, Park! My lucky day! Now you're in for it! Dispatch 6-3. We're quiet. Protesters marching north on Waverly. No incidents. the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. If Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. Fit 
Nazis here to save you, sorry asses. Oh! Here comes the pain! This can't be! I'll take your head off! You got him! You got him! <laughs> I can't believe this guy! Just a little guy! I'm in shock, all right. can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. <laughs> he can't get to us. Not while the lab's full of cryovapor. I think we're safe, so long as that cryo tank keeps pumping out vapor. He can't get in here with all that uh, cryovapor, right? We're safe. He can't get through that vapor while there's still power to the tank. This ain't the way I played on spending my New Year's Eve. There are power conduits running through the greenhouses. I should be able to disable them with a thermocharged battery. I need to disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryovapor. Emergency. Please engage manual reactor shutdown. Somebody was supposed to kill that son of a bitch. You got the first switch. Do we got a plan beyond the usual shoot him to hell? The lab's still full of cryo vapor and the fans ain't working. I think we're safe. If he manages to get the fans back on, that'll suck the vapor out of that room. Then we charge and shoot. I hope you guys brought extra ammo. Our chance. Get in there and blow the hell. A thermocharged batarang could break up the ice encasing that vantage.
you're the Batman. Supposed to back him up. Take a good long look. Where are you? Ah! Oh crap! He's in trouble. Ah! Looks like he drove off the- The bat found us! to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating.
This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo-vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard. But the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill.
Alfred, send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Goth Corp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do when I get out of here? I'm gonna have candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Why are you no. for the Watch him in the face! You're about to have a real bad night. You idiot! You idiot! Kick his ass, you dumpty rat! Oh, you've done it! Come on now! Remind me why I stay, you monster! You hear me, you pointy head freak! You you're gonna get me out of this damn iceberg! You're good right where you are. But but you can't leave me here! I'll freeze to death! Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Or oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape, you hear me? Can't leave me here, bad man. I'm freezing to death. Come on, bad man. Uh, you got a price, yeah? <laughs> Name it. It's yours. So will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident. You don't know what you're talking about. Nothing matters. Do you understand? Nothing but my Nora. You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. But because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. We made a key. Now get in here and find the Batman! You can overload those cryogenerators using your thermal gloves. Look for the control panel. Can't you see that we are alike, Batman? Both doing what we must for what is right? That was the bat. Find him! Like, 
He's escaped. He's in the open. I'll box you in, Batman. How did he escape? Find the source of that noise. He's given away his position. Any idea what Boyle was doing to her? So freaking smart, don't you? It's over. He's right there. You flew right up there. Must be close. Keep searching. Huh? Do not allow him to escape again. If 
this is how you want it to be, so be it. It is between Boyle and me. Do you understand what it's like to have someone taken from you? You won't escape that way. My patience. Warning. Containment breach in cryo tank one. That tank one. Yeah. Let's see how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. is filled with ice formations, Master Bruce. I suggest you use them to your advantage. You are resourceful, I'll give you that. Damn you, Batman, for forcing my Going down like that. You lost your resolve. I'll try I remain as strong as ever. <laughs> He's here. This man should have been more careful. He's escaped! Where 
Well, Batman, come out and do what you came to do. Your technology is inferior, Batman. Have you lost your resolve? Mine remains as strong as ever. Hmm? Over here! I know you're up there. Focus, damn you! He's escaped. You won't escape that way. How did he escape? Where are you? You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadows. Huh? You will not see me. My patience wears thin. Get him! I'll box you in. Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. You have forced me to do this. Where are you? Damn you, Batman, for forcing my hand. You have forced me to do this! Search the area! Where are you? This is how the Batman rewards incompetence. Nothing. You only anger me. Where are you? You are not. I built your tech My suit is resilient. He made a deal. Now get in here and find the Batman. <laughs> Lost your resolve. Mine remains as strong as ever. What do you see? I see him, that bad thing guy. I know you're up there. I told you that. I want him found. You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadows. Good. Well, Batman, come out and do what you came to do. Find him! Cryogenic containment failing. Prime subject again. Nora Freeze in danger. Nora, hang on. If I can get underneath him, I can take him from below. And the bat. Containment failure in capsule one. Prime subject Nora Freeze in danger. Hang on, Nora. I've almost got you. Why didn't I just kill him? Ooh. Cryogenic containment failing. Prime subject Nora Freeze in danger. Just killed him. Him and the bat. Thanks for doing the heavy lifting, man. But you shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business.
And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Dora. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to bypass no. the cryo -tubbing. Victor, she died! But I'll oh. keep you alive long enough to see her go! Oh. Oh. Breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does, but I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real, all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. Congratulations, sir. Victor, Ferris, and even that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night, then? Not yet, Alfred. There's still work to be done. <laughs>